In the previous episode, we ganked several noble enemy parties, increased relations with a couple of Vlandian towns, and strengthened the Mountain Bandit faction to 500. Oh no. What happened? Can we open it? Oh no, or you can just hit us through the... <laughs> You could just hit us through the damn wall, that's cool. I was gonna try and open it, I don't think we could have anyways. Yeah, this is so stupid. Alright, well I guess we're waiting. Yeah, we gotta wait another seven days, that's so annoying. It might do it to us again as well, I think it's the same same setup. We lost an owned area, but that's fine. We'll head back to Batania once we get this one set up. Let's do some upgrades. Yeah, the negative, our deficit is below 6k now, so we're really ramping up our, uh, our profits here. We got a Vlandian Heavy Lance. I don't know if that'll be worth having on foot. It might be too long. 349. Wow, that's long. Yeah, we can't really use that. It'd be pretty hilarious, though. So we wait for a little bit. We can do gang trial now. Let's hopefully we can do this without getting hit through a wall. Nope, looks like it's through the wall again. I don't know how we're supposed to see where the attacks are coming from. Could potentially take the gate down, actually. It's taking some damage. Yeah, it's going to take forever to do that. But we may not have an option here. I don't think there's another way in, so... Just waste an hour here, sitting here, beating on this door. Sometimes these castles have back entrances, but it doesn't look like that's the case with this one. Yeah, so if we want to... <laughs> if we want to be partners here, we're going to have to beat the wall down. We're almost through, so we got to be real careful here. As soon as it breaks... She's going to come out and try and one-tap us. Here we go. Alright, she's free. There we go. All right, we got it. And since we're beating gates down, might as well just beat this one down too. Let me in. Where is he? Where's the sheriff of Nottingham? Actually, this isn't even his town. This is Prince John's and um, his, uh, well, technically it's his dad. He's supposed to be his brother, but uh, relations important. We're going to do, yeah. And we want to we wanna get the plus 10 relations with somebody else right after this. So we'll take that. We kept good relations. We've got access to this whole town now. Uh, we spent a bit of time waiting, which might have seemed like a waste, but we can actually convert quite a few people now. So I think it was it was probably well worth it. But before we do that, let's actually head back. Let's go back to the Batanian lands and we'll reevaluate kind of where we're at, what we need to do. Um, we've got a foothold in the Empire. We've got a foothold in Vlandia. I don't know that we need to do too much else, other than maybe expanding those networks. Uh, I think Empire will probably need another one or two. So let's take back. Yeah, take it back. That'll boost our income up even more. Now we do have three more smuggler slots, which we'll we'll take advantage of right away. And you can see our income now, instead of being negative seven or 8,000, which it was fairly recently, now it's down to negative 4,000. So we're, our income's really coming in. And we got more points to put here, so... Yeah, our body house income is almost matching that of the gambling den, because we're almost at 200, or at 120. So once those match, but we can go even higher with the body house, because it does have at a 200 here for the capacity. Sweet, and what kind of income are we looking at? Sargo at 1,000. Not, not, not bad. It's in line with the others, it's fine. Yeah, we're in pretty good shape. Actually, the brewery, I was going to say, we need to switch one of these workshops, but it looks like the brewery's turning out a profit now. Now, Roguery 150, Bandit Parties always offer to join you is kind of pointless in this mod because once you get enough criminal rating, everybody will join you anyways. So we won't do that one. Increase the armor provided by civilian body armor. This one doesn't really make a difference because we're not really going to be using... I guess maybe on the civilian outfit it will actually. Yeah, so maybe civilian stuff it'll help out with. And then criminal rating except for less trade penalty, that's good. That'll allow us to uh, buy stuff cheaper and sell things for more profit. So let's go ahead and straighten out what we got here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We needed an even amount, so we got to wait for one more to convert. So this is three new people. We can convert three new people now. Sweet. So we picked up Ethan Brown, Cole, 
Teruter, the cow thief, and Reuben. And again, we're doing the same setup. Everybody's going to be bow as soon as we get them. I don't think we can afford them now, or we don't have them in hand now, but that's fine. We also don't have throwing weapons, so it doesn't really do us any good to, to give them throwing. So let's get them set up. They at least need some pole arms, which we have. We go pole arm, shield, and a stack of arrows ready to go. Sweet. So he's good. Let's go ahead and outfit their armor so they have a little better armor. Yeah, that's fine. I don't really like using this one now because I noticed it, it doesn't really go that well with RBM. It starts switching out stuff that it shouldn't. It's kind of annoying having to come back and redo it. So we'll just do them as they're new. And then maybe once in a while we'll do it and then just switch this stuff back. That's not a big deal. All right. We got three new people. That's uh, what are we at? 46 now. Yeah, we're almost halfway. I mean, almost halfway to 100. Ooh, actually, this town is close to rebellion. Interesting. I wonder why that is. All right, sweet. We need to find more bows. So we did a good job finding bows up here in Sturgeon Lands. We could probably do the same, maybe establish some kind of friendship partnership down in Asurai or the Kazate Lands. Now, I know the Kazates are generally, you know, horse archers. So this might make a little bit more sense. Just it's a, it's a bit farther out of the way. Asurai we have to deal with the minus movement speed, so that's something to consider as well. I think we'll probably go Kazate. Maybe we'll go through Sturgeon Lands to the Kazate. And then we'll hit up Empire on the way back. I think that sounds like a good plan. I think maybe we can spend a little bit of time converting the rest of these guys over. We do need we do need more people. 46 ain't gonna cut it. If we can get up to like 50, maybe closer to 60, that'd be ideal. Let's go find some looters we can pick on in the meantime, and then we'll just heal. Let's draw these guys out so we can do it in the daytime. All right, we'll fight in the town. All right, same thing as before. We're going to put shield wall in a tight formation. We'll probably put the archers right behind. We might move them to the water if they start getting overrun. Oh, donkey. Sorry, donkey. There's a hit. Let's not let these guys get out. Let's get our bowmen up nice and close. Let's see if we can swallow these guys whole. What the hell is this guy doing? Just casually riding up on his horse? Well, he's dead now. What we gotta do with those archers too? Oh, we, our archers are actually, uh, sounds like they're doing a pretty good job. All right, we gotta deal with these cows. We can't let them get in and out for free. All right, let's move our archers up so they're not out uh, isolated. Look at these guys, they're so beefy. These are uh, Fian champions, I think. <laughs> Alright, we pushed them out. Caver in front, archers in the back. Oh, you trying to scratch something? Wow. <laughs> she looked like she had a really bad itch or something. All right, let's pack them a little tighter again. Let's get the archers off the side. We're not gonna have any donkeys left. I would be surprised if we have a bunch of maimed ones. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Our 
Archers! Move! Get our archers out of the Forward! kind of the danger zone. Forward! As long as they don't get charged, this should be okay. Soldiers! If there's one down, this should be two. Yep, there's two. Oh man, he's fast. Couldn't get my my defense up fast enough. Well, he's down. Only one guy left. Yeah, he's dead. That's it. Oh, wow. Isn't that... I mean, it's kind of sad, but also it's kind of hilarious. <laughs> I would, if I had the capability of laughing right now, I'd be laughing my, my butt off. Oh no, Phil Johnson. Phil, your son will live on. He will bypass you. Wow, okay, well, there you go. Death is definitely enabled. All right, we'll let him go. Right, we can take all of these guys, actually. Decent upgrades. Looks like we've got a 160 bow. Nobody that can use it except for us. So we probably won't end up using that. We got some throwing weapons. Here we go. So Ronnie... You need some throwing weapons. Oh, and I forgot to take all the gear off of Phil Johnson. Whoops. I guess you got buried with military honors. Oh, Phil Johnson, 35 years young. He died way too soon. He died in the Battle of 1089. He was reputed. <laughs> he was reputed to be dishonorable in every way. My wife can agree, but you you will be missed, though, Phil. You did a good job. I'm I'm kind of in disbelief. Like of all the people that could have died. I didn't think it was going to be Phil. Well, we got to heal up, first of all. And second of all, we got to convert some of these prisoners. Yeah, we got a bunch. Although I don't think we can really convert these tier six. I guess we could pair it with the tier four. We got two tier fours. So that'll work. But we have a lot of tier six. We don't we don't want to keep all of them. Yeah, so we'll pair them up. And that should be fine. All right, now we wait. And we got to replace Phil with somebody else. We got a few more upgrades. Let's go ahead and do those. Mid Marion hit 125. So Quartermaster, it's either increased morale or discard weapon XP. I, we'll take the morale because we can't even use the discard XP anyways. And let's bump up, let's bump up her control and one-handed for those civilian fights. Ooh, another. Wow, she's pregnant again. So that'll be child number three. Look at there's Phil Johnson the second. Sadly, there's no Phil Johnson the first anymore. Right, we're not really converting anything yet. I guess it's going to take a little while because we have so many troops to split between so let's just let that we'll let that go see if we can pick another fight and hopefully not die this time we'll also do some upgrades oh there's some looters we can pick on We're just harmless oh you gotta be kidding me that was really close came out of nowhere all right let's get rid of these guys slowing us down man how are they so fast only 21 cav we're 100% calf. Unless, well, actually, let's think about that. So, Ruben, you don't have one. Well, maybe here's why. We got a few people that don't have mounts. There might be some people that have either some dead or some lame ones because they keep getting hit in combat. Yeah, that looks pretty consistent. Here's another looter stack. We can take that. Alright, four injuries this time. And there's a tournament here. Let's see what the prize is. Another big helmet. It's probably worth doing these because we, we need all the helmets we can get. Yeah, 94, 94 armor is really good.
Man, that no, no pull arm skill is kind of brutal for these late game ones. But we got the helmet. It just takes a long time. All right, now that we've seen death, we could probably put the helmet on our wife. All right. You're part of the club now. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, we got to wait a little bit. We got somebody in here. Okay, they left. Yeah, let's go do some more auto resolve, I think. Oh, and why didn't we sell these guys? Yeah, we got Zyman S here waiting to be recruited. Let's go ahead and bring him in. 1800. We don't have a bow for him yet. We do have a pole arm we can give him though. Uh, we do. Sorry, we do have a bow, but these are all too high level. They both require 100. Everybody's starting at 50, so that's okay. We'll give him shield. Let's give him some kind of pole arm. And then a little bit of armor, whatever gear we got. So that'll work. Welcome to the squad. So we should be in pretty good shape. I think we still have a little bit of injuries, but that's fine. We're just fighting looters. No injuries on that one. A little bit of levels. We'll sell these guys off. Ooh, masterworks. And a spear, that's really good. Yeah, more looters. Alright, we're getting some decent auto resolve. Yeah, we'll split them with you. I don't Oh, I thought I thought somebody died. It's uh the, the guys that joined us. <laughs> uh friend computer got injured. We don't really make much money from doing this, so let's just uh from selling these these low tier. We'll just give them. We'll give them a little bit of strength. Yeah, 474. They lost some strength at some point, so we need to get them back up. Yeah, let's go hunt again. I think if we can find another small noble group to fight, that'd be ideal. I think 28 might be a little bit too much, but we can see what we got here. Highland War Spear. Wow. I would love to have a high-end spear. 150 length. That's really good. Yeah, we, we want this. We were able to get that one. And the question is, who's going to be our high-tier spearman? It's going to be one of our main crew. So not Will Scarlet. Probably not Fire Tuck either. And Little John could do it, but he's already got pretty good one-handed. Right, Sirfix has actually one of the higher pole arm skills. But the problem is we got him using a bow now. Let's see who else. Christian actually could do it. But he's mostly control, not vigor. Same thing with Salico. Man. I'm kind of regretting how I built some of these people. Actually, this is a good one. Uren Curl. Yeah, I think it'll work. All right, let's go in there and change him. So it's not saying it'll upgrade for that. I'm wondering if it's considered a different weapon category. Is that why? If we try and do the comparison, it shouldn't show up. No, it does show up. So I don't know why it wasn't doing it before. Yeah, it's getting rid of it. Wow, that's really annoying. So if we do this, does it equip somebody with it? No, it does not. That makes no sense. So every time I push this, it's going to get rid of it. Oh, uh, man. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know what to do about that. I guess we'll just have to do it one by one. Ooh. Here's an interesting battle. So there's a caravan and a noble party. Are they going to fight? No, they're not going to fight. The question is, do we take this? It's six infantry and ten ranged. I think... Is not a face I know. Yeah, I think we take this. Yeah, we've... I think we've got, we've got balance of power, but I think we have way more overall than they do. Because I've noticed balance of power doesn't really translate too well in RBM. I don't think they're going to push, so we'll, we'll go ahead and do that job for them. Alright, let's try and limit the distance at which they open fire, because they probably have much better troops than we do. So we don't exactly want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. So what we're going to do is we're going to set... These guys, not maybe not at shield wall. Oh my god, we already lost somebody. Well, let's charge these guys in. Let's get our archers in there. Alright, let's get in there. Right, keep pushing guys we need help we can't let these archers just sit back and pick us off all right push 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 all right push this way yeah, surround this guy. It's like a 1v8. 
Let's do it. Alright, took care of them. Let's go ahead and issue the charge command. Wait, are they running? Wow. Alright, two troops running. It's gotta be something with the mod then. They don't normally do that in vanilla. There we go. Let's take their armor. We don't want anybody getting out. Shot him in the butt. Man, he couldn't handle that butt shot. Oh, okay. We didn't get that hit, but it looked like we would, like we did. We took a few casualties here. Twelve. A lot of people got levels, and only three escaped. So that's not not bad at all. We should get some good loot here. Give that guy up. We're at ninety charm. It's going to take us a while to get there. All right, we got even more people to convert. Oh yeah, there's some good upgrades here. 129. Question is, do we want the goofy helmet? I mean, for an extra 20-something helmet uh, armor? I, th I think so. Got some better shoulders as well. All right, let's go heal. And we can probably do this tournament as well. Island throwing dagger. You know, people keep saying that the tournament, uh, the daggers are good. There's a ton of drop because we don't have any throwing skill. It's a little different in RBM, so I don't know if it's worth it. Maybe on the companions it'd be really good, actually. Yeah, we could do that on somebody that's got good throwing. They could probably take advantage of it. Nice, we got that one. Let's let's go ahead and put it on maybe Friar Tuck. All right, Friar Tuck, where you at? Civilian loadout. Let's go ahead and throw these bad boys on. Hopefully he uses them. It's going to take us a really long time to convert all these. So we might want to do is get rid of maybe some of the low tier. Yeah, let's get rid of the tier 4. Oh, I remember. We were going to keep them and convert the tier 6. That's fine. Let's just do all tier 5. It's just easier that way. And we do have enough for at least one person. Let's just do that for now. And we'll upgrade him as, as we go. Alright, we picked up Zach Hand. Same same build. We're waiting for Bose to fill these guys out. But I think uh, having the polearm is, is pretty nice to have. So let's just keep working on that. Polearm, shield. See what kind of upgrades. Oh. You got all the good stuff. Maybe we want one of our other high tier guys to have that. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and go down the line. We'll Scarlet, we'll Stutley, Alan and Dale. These guys are all good. David of Doncaster and Arthur Bland. Much made Marion. Yeah, that should be fine. Sweet. Now we can go back to Zach. You got some pretty good stuff to start with. And even a horse. And I forgot to give you a horse too. Yeah, converting these guys is going to take quite a while. Not that it's a bad thing, but we should probably do some more missions. I think we should expand somewhere down here. Either Lycaron or Jalmares. We've got Zionok and Paros. We have Sargo. We could also do Jacolan. I think Empire is probably a good place to start. Yeah, I think, I think we're better off doing that. Ooh, that's a good fight. I think we can take that. Well, fast. Yeah, probably too fast. Oh, they're coming back. They're actually faster than we are. 10 horse archers. We, we may not want to deal with that. Ooh, wow. 40 looters. We'll try that one out. Zero losses. Now we will take some people and then we'll deposit them. We're going to be slow for a little while. So let's try and be careful. We'd love to go to a sea raider, but I don't think that's going to happen. Let's actually... The force bandits did get weakened somehow. So let's boost them back up. And let's see what kind of boost we can get. 126 is not bad. Yeah, we're, they're well above 500 now. Criminal rating, almost at 100. Mm, all in a day's work, right? Don't think we want to buy any of this stuff. Doesn't look all that good. All right, Rote. We could we could either do Amatatis. No, no, no. I think Amatatis is probably a bad idea. Let's try for Jamaris. All right, let's try and draw these guys out. All right, that's two. They still have a few more. Let's draw them into the um, these looters. Not that they don't want to go for it. This guy would rather chase. All right, well, I guess we'll just auto-resolve. Nice. So we did actually find a starter bow. Not that it's going to be like the greatest, but um, it'll help. I don't think we want to start spending money just yet. We don't really need to. We've got pretty decent gear. Uh, let's let's give one of these guys that don't have really good gear. Let's give them the starter bow. Actually, no, there's somebody else up here that needs a starter bow because they have some bow, but they don't they don't have enough to equip it yet. Red Simon's got throwing and bow. Let's see if we can find somebody that does not. Yeah, bow. Perfect. So let's get rid of uh, Daniel Fisher. We're going to get rid of your one-hander. And we'll slot you in for some bow. Should, we should probably use... Yeah, that's fine. 50 gram. And 175 medicine. Actually, we're, we're 
leveling up medicine faster than a lot of other things. This one's pretty important if you're taking it on your main character because clan leader uh, increased to life expectancy, but we don't, so we can't really use it. Wounded troops do not decrease morale in battle. We don't have troops. Food, food variety increased recovery rate. So that's going to be pretty important. We'll take that. We'll, we'll have all the food groups at all times. Yeah, so that should increase that. But you know what? Let's... Ooh, that's a good fight for us. We do need to wait a little bit, though. All right, let's see if we can catch these guys. All right, draw them out. We'll do it in the... Oh, we don't want to fight this. We're going to get slowed. Oh, he's so fast. Holy crap. Well, here's the tricky part. We could win this and then get trapped. I don't know that it really matters at this point. We have to fight either way. We might be able to make it to that hideout after the battle. One thing at a time, I guess. And we'll do the same thing. We'll just try and keep them as tight as possible. Alright, they're just going to come charging in. They're going to destroy our, our archer line. Right, we got him before he regrouped. We should probably compact our archers too. There's one down. All right, we don't want this guy getting out. Soldiers, forward. Let's just keep moving our shield wall. Nice. <laughs> Imagine a line of of um, mules. It's really putting in work for us. All right, nice. We got this guy down. Try and solo this guy. It's going to be too hard. Soldiers, forward. Yeah, walked backwards into our giant line. <laughs> oh no, the donkey. Take the donkey out. Oh man, that was scary. <laughs> I had to change. Change targets at the last second. Oh, wow. Where do these guys come from? Well, they're the B squad, though, obviously. Or their horse has already taken enough damage. Stab him, man. Stab him. Oh, there you go. Stab him while he's down. Beautiful. All right. They do have a horse archer, it looks like. I think he's retreating. Yeah, he's running like a coward. Man, ever since Phil died, I'm really nervous about looking at the after after battle report. Wow, look at Anna. Two kills. Good on you. Look at that. Two pole arms. That's really strong. Because there was only 10 enemies. They're very, very strong. Uh, 13. Yeah, so that's getting two kills on a battle like this is really good. Sweet. We'll let you go. We'll take the XP. I think we'll take these and probably donate some of them. We've already got quite a few. We should probably actually eliminate some of these because it's just going to take forever. We seem to be in a good spot when it comes to uh, picking up prisoners at this point. I say that and then we're 